Hi Harsha. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Today our topic is decision rules. Shall we start? We can start. Yeah. First question is, what are the differences between decision table and decision tree? Yeah. Uh, decision table and decision tree differences like uh, in the basic level like decision table is a table structure. It will use the logic of if else, if else, if else, if and so on otherwise. And decision tree uses the logic of if, comma, if, if and so on otherwise. And when there is no condition satisfied in any one of these, otherwise condition otherwise will get executed and will return a result. And another difference is we can use expression builder in decision table and functions there we can access. But in decision tree, we cannot use expression builder and the respect to functions. But there is an option to use some of the functions in decision tree also, but that is not through expression builder. And decision table, all the properties which we use in for all conditions are same like if i have 10 conditions 10 conditions should be built based on same set of properties decision tree is not like that if i have 10 condition each condition can have different different properties being used and we can call decision other decision rules from decision table by using expression builder functions and there is an option available in decision tree in order to call other decision rule like in the configuration tab Hello selection of call decision option. Okay, we move on to one scenario. In decision table, my condition satisfied in 10th row. Will it check for the remaining rows? How it works? And the same scenario, how we can execute with the decision tree? Yeah, either in decision table or decision tree, we use a written statement, which means that anywhere when the condition is satisfied, the control will return back to calling place. Whether 10th row is satisfied or 15th row is satisfied or 1st row is satisfied, no matter. When a condition is satisfied in any of the row, control will exit at that particular place and return back to the calling place because of the return statement that is there. Okay. How to call decision table from de decision tree and vice versa? Okay. So, we can call a decision table from decision tree by using the option LO selection of call decision option. That means... In decision table tree rule, if you go to configuration tab, there is a checkbox allow call decision option. If we select that option, then uh, in the in place of written drop down, we'll see call decision table, call decision tree, call, call map value. So any decision rule can be called from decision tree when we use the option allow selection of call decision option. Similarly, if we want to call other decision rules from decision table, there is no such uh, option available, but we can use expression builder functions. There are functions available px evaluate decision table, px evaluate decision tree. px evaluate decision table or decision tree functions takes the takes two parameters, primary page and the name of the decision rule. So we can use these functions and call other decision rules. Other than these two, there is one more function available called obtain value. Using this function also, we can call other decision rules, say the table or tree or map values. Okay, let's look into one scenario. We are using one decision table. By default, it returns single value. How to return multiple values without using evaluate all rows option? Okay, in decision table, when we use the option of evaluate all rows, in place of return, we will get an option called uh, action and we can set multiple properties. But without using that evaluate all rows also, there is another possibility. Either in decision table or decision tree, we have this possibility of setting multiple properties. If you go to the result tab of the decision table or configuration tab of the decision tree and then we scroll down, there, is, there are additional allowed results option. So there we can specify one result value and beside that we can add multiple properties being set. So like this we can suppose if in my decision table if I have 5 written values, I can add 5 written values. For each written value, property 1 is equal to value 1, property 2 is equal to value 2, property 3 is equal to value 3. Like this, n number of written values we can set. This is more or less similar to evaluate all rows but in case of this, this particular option, one, one value will be returned by decision table. Upon re returning the result, it is going to invoke to set other properties. Okay, so that is a difference. Okay, how to call decision table from a data transform? Okay, uh, a decision table can be called from data transform by using again expression builder function like px evaluate decision table and pass the primary page name or the respective page name and decision table name. Then that will be invoked. Okay. How we can call decision table and decision tree from activities? We can call decision table or decision tree from an activity by using the methods property map decision table and property map decision tree methods. Okay. If we use a decision table in an activity, how to do an exceptional handling? Yeah. Whenever we are calling decision table in activity, 
suppose when decision table is called by using property map decision table method and by the time decision table gets executed let's say for example there are few properties let's say i have used a b c these three properties are there in the conditions of decision table but by the time it is executed let's say the property a is not yet been used means it is not there on the clipboard then it will be an exception situation processing will get halted so to avoid this while calling decision table from activity using property map decision table method if we expand the method we have an option called hello missing properties if we select this option process command is going to ignore the properties that are that are involved in the condition but not there in the clipboard and goes ahead with the remaining properties this is how we can handle the situation not to not to halt the program execution thank you for watching this video please subscribe to harsha trainings channel if you have any queries or questions please write it in comment box we'll try to resolve it in next video thank you